Hello, I'm Dr. Robin Beeman. Uh, I'm, I'm a marine geologist at the College of Science and Engineering at James Cook University in Cairns. So my research is mostly focused on ocean floor mapping, so typically deep ocean floor mapping, but I also work uh, in shallow areas on the Great Barrier Reef continental shelf, uh, usually extending out into the deeper waters of the Coral Sea. So our current research is looking at the submarine canyons that border the edge of the Great Barrier Reef. So where the coral reefs actually finish and drop down into the, uh, into the adjoining deep basins that run along the edge of the Great Barrier Reef, that margin is actually cut with uh, hundreds, over a hundred uh, submarine canyons. Now these are big incisions into the seafloor where sediment through time has cut down into the seafloor and left these big chasms. Some of them drop over uh, two kilometres deep. Uh, so we're investigating these, um, they're fascinating. They're some of the largest undersea structures on Earth and on the Great Barrier Reef, there are lots of them. Uh, so we're continually going out to sea in expedition ships and mapping more of them. Other research we're doing are undersea landslides. So just like the name suggests, these are big landslides that have occurred underwater. They are big scale landslides. They, you would definitely notice them if they're on land. These are over 20 kilometres long. Uh, it's basically where the edge of the, the continental shelf has collapsed and then drop, you end up with a big debris field that might stretch for 20 kilometres. Some of the debris blocks are about uh, two, 300 metres high and they are about several kilometres long. So you've got these very large boulders that are the remains of quite large undersea landslides. Okay, so this is one of them. We call it Bowl Slide just because it's near Bowl Reef. But that's about, um, well, that's at the bottom is over 20 kilometres long. And it's, this is where the edge of the Great Barrier Reef has collapsed. So all this is a big debris field. So we've been doing uh, age dating of the blocks to try and understand when these features occurred. Uh, they are quite old. Uh, some of the ages we're getting are about 300,000 years old, which means the landslide that caused these big debris blocks has to be older than that. So I don't think we're looking at anything that's going to happen again anytime soon.